I'm feeling better this morning. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people that when I'm not feeling well, I just pretty much sleep it off. So that kind of slows down what I can get done throughout the day. But I figure I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I am feeling better, try and get what I can prepped to make the chicken tractor, and then I got to look into the side of the corn crib try and get that finished up which that shouldn't be too that shouldn't be bad but I'm going to start with getting some measurements and some pre-cuts made for the chicken tractor itself so that when I'm ready for it I can just basically walk through and just assemble I'm trying to turn myself into my own Ikea and that just sounds horrifying okay All right. I neglected to take video of me cutting these down, but That'll be the length on the sides, which a solid piece is a lot better, especially when I go to reinforce it or support it. I'm trying to get two shorter pieces to come together. And coupled with these, that'll be two foot and I'm a little bit impressed with myself at the moment. So, kind of sad in one aspect, but I'm a little bit impressed with myself because even after the cutting, double check my measurement, that will be two foot tall when it's done. The previous one I messed up and I actually wound up making it a little bit taller than two foot, so I had to improvise a little bit as far as getting the chicken wire to stay up on the sides. So, hopefully it'll be a little bit better than the one that I previously made over there, which that one is still a huge improvement off of the first one. So, everything I touch, I aim to try and do a little bit better the next time. All right. Well, this is the rough top part of the frame, solid along the back, roughly two foot from corner to end, same on the other side, which will give me enough room to make that two foot doorway again. Solid piece going ten foot back. So while the outside dimensions are going to be six by ten, the inside will be probably about four inches shy of that. But the very bottom of the framing will be solid up here. I just want to run the PVC and things like that so I can get a rough idea as to the actual end height. Make sure that I'm not going to mess that up so that when I we go to do the door frame that's squared away and correct. So, figured I'd show you guys where it stands. Oh, uh, yeah, before I forget, before I forget, I intend to run at least one vertical support about midway on this board and back here. Obviously, both of the opening entr entry points and both of the front corners, both of the back corners, one in the very center of the back, and then I'll do the diagonals as well, just to try and reinforce it. Because getting lifted and pulled and moved around 
The more sound it is, the better off I am. All right. Okay. I was just going to use a jigsaw, cut it out. Well, without something to properly secure it, I didn't want a chance cutting myself, especially with a saw blade. So, what I did was I cut straight edges off of it and then sanded it down just to get myself at least a rough round so that this is how it ended out. And then I'll put, I'm going to put two screws in on one on each side and I'm going to put a third one in down in the bottom and I'm going to put an eyelet into the top. So that'll go in about here and then that'll be what the chain hooks to and that'll be solid and sealed especially once I actually get it screwed in. But this also gives me the opportunity to do a little bit of fine tuning. And I need to take a little bit off of these edges. So, we'll get that handled. Oh, well, trying to use my time wisely. Lost a little bit of it today. Darianne had to do some running. But, just weed eat it between the barn flower or garden bed. Wow, flower. That patch in the center right there that's a little bit more of a brown color is what I just went through. Should have taken a picture of it beforehand, but I didn't. But I got that done and went along the side of the barn again just to clean it up a little bit. Well, I found a new toy. It's actually an attachment that fits my weed eater. And I found it in the Quonset hut in what looks like a weed eater graveyard. But I wanted to test run it. And I just cleared everything from about right here all the way over and back to about right there. While I don't necessarily guarantee that it's going to take down some of the larger stuff, I do know that things like this that were giving the weed eater string a little bit of a hard time, things like this that my weed eater didn't particularly care for, aren't really much of an issue for it. So, that's definitely a good thing. And, in the worst case scenario, I'm not gonna have to buy string again. But, I gotta sharpen that up just a little bit. Wanted to test run it before I put any effort into the blade itself. Because, well, wouldn't be any point in trying to sharpen it up if it didn't work. All right. Okay, now that I've had a short recess, I'm going back to working on the chicken tractor. Still got a little bit of frame working to deal with, and well, honestly, I just wound up stopping and decided that since Bryn was going to be cutting the grass, I needed to get the weed eating done. But, set up the camera, time lapse again, and we'll go from that. Okay, I've done a couple of rough cuts, 
And what I'm going to be doing is making a chicken feeder that will be suspended, which I actually got the idea courtesy of my wife showing me a video on from So the Land. Beautiful, beautiful setup. I'm going to cut both of these and get them centered. Sorry. I'm going to cut both of these and get them seated right here. A couple of chains. And we'll actually suspend it so that, one, it's not on the ground, which being suspended will keep it level. And two, it'll have enough swing to it that the chickens and chicks aren't going to be able to roost on it, or at least not easily. So, figured I'd show you guys what I was doing. And like I said, I did the rough cuts just to get those out of the way. And we'll go from here. I'm not going to be able to install this today because I still need to get the chain, which Gary Ann is going to be out tomorrow morning doing a couple of things and she's supposed to pick me up some so that I can actually get it into the chicken coops or tractors. But we can at least get the build done. Here it is. That's two inches. Yeah, it's two inches shy of five foot, just because of the inch for each board. But with the eyelets in, it'll hang. Won't have to pull up and move them. It'll hold a little bit more feed than what they currently have. Just need the chain so we can get it in there. And for the next chicken tractor, I'll be making another one of these, so. All right. All right, everybody. We're going to try out making kohlrabi for the first time. From what I understand, if you roast it like a potato, it cooks up pretty close to a potato. So we're going to roast them in the oven and see how they turn out. Okay, everybody, just closing out the video from last night. Um, the kohlrabi baked in the oven, roasted in the oven, tasted pretty good. It was like eating potatoes and cabbage together because you had the texture of the potatoes but the flavor of the cabbage. But it turned out pretty good. We were happy with it. Now, on to the next for today. Y'all have a good day.